I've been in IT for over 20 years. I've never done any programming or sing or similar work, but I feel learning a language would be good. What's the best language to learn for hacking? Of course, this is a loaded question in that it's uh, it's too wide in, in, in regards to the scope. And when you talk about hacking, there's uh, various types of hackings. You can talk of networks, mobile applications, web apps, you know, uh, hacking software itself. Uh, but typically, if in fact, if you perform your research online, you, you learn that uh, they're, they're, they're there are pretty much five languages that are used in hacking or cybersecurity and for various reasons. Number one, of course, is going to be Python because of the, mod, uh, the, the ability to actually build and, of course, share modules. Um, and then, of course, the various frameworks that exist. The second one would be C and C++. And this comes into play when you're talking about reverse engineering uh, and talking about um, debugging or d d disassembling software. So a good understanding of C and C++ is very important. And then, of course, you have a Ruby and Perl, which uh, again are used uh, to develop some tools and uh, can be uh, or are very, very good for, uh, for larger frameworks that utilize things like modules, as you can see with the Metasploit framework uh, or the Metasploit console. And then, of course, you have bash scripting. Now, bash scripting is not really a programming language. It's more of a scripting language, which means you can automate uh, tons of stuff that you normally do on your Linux terminal. So these were the languages that I would, um, I would actually point out or uh, I would actually recommend uh, with an additional one that's actually kind of growing in popularity and in use in cybersecurity. And that's the, group, the Go programming language, which uh, you can actually see that there's an increase in the amount of tools being developed for it primarily because uh, of the function of the functionality uh, or the thread, uh, the ability to, to actually have your tool run uh, in multiple threads or ha have a multi-threaded application. So you can actually speed up uh, most of the things that would you know, normally uh, be very uh, slow uh, with, with you know, tools developed uh, in Python as an example. Of course, not every tool developed in Python is going to be slow, uh, but if, if you're focusing um, on reverse engineering and exploit development, then definitely learn C. And when I talk about C and C++, it's also very important to learn secure C and C, uh, secure C++. Uh, learning how to write C is, is, is good, but also learning how to write secure code is very, very good. And that'll also give you a huge insight into uh, understanding how software is written by large companies, how you can test it, how you can fuzz it. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the question. Did you have anything to add on, on to that? No, I actually, so it's a really good answer. I want to highlight on uh, one of the last points you've said, and that's with regards to Go. So Go is really good, is increasing in popularity, and mostly because of its uh, concurrency uh, feature, which actually makes it extremely fast and very good for parallel uh, processing. So in that in in that regard is better than python so i'm actually trying to learn go myself so it's it's kind of a, a slow process uh, and i'm taking baby steps because i do not devote as much time as i want one of the very good books on go for cybersecurity is i think it's called black hat go for those who are interested you, you can just look it up on google and uh, see where you can buy it from yep yeah it's an excellent book and if, if you really want to see the power of go in regards to creating tools i'll definitely recommend checking out go buster because it's one of these tools that's really leveraged uh, the advantages of go and the concurrency as as christy said